Dennis, thank you. Well, appreciate it. Well, tonight a group of parents are taking a stand against banning books, and they're doing it with movies. Casey Albritton shows you how. I would really love it if we could kind of get some of the politics out of the schools. The politics grandparent Kathy Hopkins is talking about is the book banning controversy. In Florida, several books have been banned in schools because of recent legislation. The thoughts of having things like that not available to the next generation of kids, it's just sad and it, it makes me concerned. Supporters of book banning like Laura Kissick with Moms for Liberty in Hillsborough County say books that cite sexually explicit material should be removed. The school should be that one place, that one neutral, wholesome place where kids aren't exposed to this because they are exposed to it everywhere else. With other books like Captain Underpants and Charlotte's Web being banned in schools in the U.S., parents at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Tarpon Springs are working to bring awareness to the censorship. Parent Barbara Mellon is hosting banned book movie nights at the church, highlighting books and movies that have been a point of controversy, like the movie Ruby Bridges. It's an important story. Everyone knows that Ruby Bridges was one of the first first girl to integrate certain pub public schools. So just that kind of hit a nerve. The Ruby Bridges movie was recently a topic of debate within the Pinellas County School District after it was temporarily pulled from North Shore Elementary School after a parent complaint. Then it was reviewed and allowed back in the school. Somebody may think, oh, this should be banned, when in reality nothing should be banned. Hopkins brings her grandchildren to the movie nights. They want to know about racism. They want to understand about sexuality. Um, Parents don't always have all the answers. Organizers say right now they are focusing on less controversial movies, but plan to expand to more serious topics in the future. Hopkins and Mellon say if a book is banned from school, a child may never read it. So many of our kids don't have parents who can go out and buy the book. They can't get to the library because they don't have transportation. They can't download the free version from the library because they don't have internet or the money to afford it. They say books are critical for student development. The kids who are not getting these books are going to be our future public servants. In Pinellas County, I'm Casey Albert and ABC Action News.